Tanya from Move Your Body Studio, and today we're going to work our side body. Okay, so let's start by warming up. So we have shoulder blades down, nice and strong through the core, and we're just going to lift the arm up and thread it through. And just hold here, taking a nice twist. You can hold here as long as you like. And coming up, and then the other arm lifts and threads through, holding it down this way. Nice. So you can continue to do a few of these lifts and stretching through. Other side, as many as you'd like to warm up your side. Okay, so what we're going to do is come into a spinal twist. So we're going to have our legs together. We're going to sit on our sits bones. If you find that you're rocking back like this, then what you need to do is bend your knees. So it's so important to be on these sits bones here. So if you can straighten your legs, do so. Your arms are out, and you're basically just going to twist one way, come back to center, and twist the other way. So what are some things that go wrong? See how my leg and my hip move back? So we don't want any shifting in the hips. So this stays completely still. We also don't want a rounded back. So a nice long back, arms out, and we twist to one side. And as we twist, we're lifting up. We come back to the center, and then we twist from our hips all the way up to the crown of the head, and come back to center. So again, when we do Pilates, it's not about how many can we do, it's about doing a few properly. So relaxing the tension in the legs, pulling up on that pelvic floor, and twisting side to side. Really feeling that, ooh, taking that opposite shoulder blade into the opposite back pocket. So right hit the shoulder goes into left back pocket. Now we're going to do the saw. So we take our legs a little bit wider. Again, if you find you're not sitting on your sits bones, you're rolling back, then bend your knees a little bit. Arms go in the same position here. We're going to spiral up through our spine nice and tall. We're going to turn one direction, and then we're going to lengthen sawing off our baby toe. So when we do this, we want to make sure that opposite hip stays on the floor, so we're not rolling this way. We stretch out the back fingers, out the front fingers, rolling up, come back to center, twist to the other side, and lengthen. And then we come back up, we twist, or sorry, here we twist, and we lengthen. Oh, it feels so good to twist and strengthen our obliques. So again, you can do about eight to 10 of those, and that really helps in this core here. Then, one of my favorites is coming into side plank. So laying all the way down, you want to lift your core off the floor so it's not pressing into the floor. So you have a nice spine that is straight here. This is harder, this is easier. If your elbow starts to go back, that's going to take it off the core. Connect the pubic bone and the ribs together, and beginners can start with lifting one leg. Now when you lift the leg, you're lifting from your hip and you're pulling the hip towards your ribs, okay? Um, if you're a little more advanced, you can lift both legs up and down. So we're just gonna keep this simple today. So either do one leg or both, and then little pulses. Now, I like to put my hand here sometimes to make sure my stomach is not sticking out, okay? So really connecting the front of the body. And then coming down, and then I like to sit up through here, extend my arm over, attach my arm and my temple together, and take a nice, beautiful stretch. And then I actually like to come down and do a nice twist through here, feeling the weight on both of my elbows, reaching my chest forward, and then coming up, and swinging my legs over to the other side. So all the way down through here, same thing, lifting up through the side to see if you can stick your hand through there, hand up here, hand down here, one leg up, if you'd like. So when you're doing this, you lift and lengthen from your hip, lift and lengthen. So I'm not lifting my foot, I'm lengthening from above my hip, or you lift both legs up and down. 
Okay, so pulling the pubic bone and the ribs together, making sure you're staying flat through your center, lifting and lowering, and you can add in some little pulses, really lifting with that inner thigh and your outer thigh. Belly stays in, head, neck, and shoulders stay relaxed. You can even hold it up here. You can do funny things with your feet. You're working the strengthening the side of the side body. So pulling your hips, your ribs together, pulling that belly in and lifting your body up off the floor, coming down, bringing your knees in, taking a nice, beautiful side bend, so trying to attach the arm and the temple together, opening this side like a rainbow, nice, beautiful twist, and then coming down on this side and noticing, can you put your elbows on the floor I like to think of, I'm, I'm to the left here, um, putting my right nipple over to my left elbow. Really helps to get that spinal twist. Perfect. Now we're going to swing over to the other side. So this one will be a little bit more advanced. You can go hands or forearm. Okay, I'll go up into my hands here. And you're going to come into side plank. Perfect. Okay, so we want to make sure we're not sagging down through here. We're lifting up, squeezing that tennis ball underneath the armpit. Now you can hold here. You can lift a leg up. You can lift it lower. You can grab your toe. You can extend your leg. You can bring it back. And you can also thread the needle. So just like we did with the beginners at the, at the start, this one is a little more advanced. Whoop. Threading the needle. Okay? Nice and strong through there. Bring the hips down, swing the legs over to the other side, come up into a plank. Again, if this is hard on your wrist, come down onto your elbow. So again, we have options here. Draw the shoulder blade down on your back, lift that top leg if it's available to you. You can lift and lower. You can, whoop, this side's harder. Woo! Lift that leg forward, bring it back. And here, you can straddle your legs if you'd like to make this a bit easier, just to get into the flow and getting through that twist and opening back and coming down slowly and opening. And one more. and release and coming down. So those are a few exercises that will help to strengthen the side of your body. Um, remember, go slowly, take your time, and feel the movements. Don't just get caught up in the action. Have a beautiful day, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you soon.